When you think of Vladoff, what comes to mind? Fire rate, right? I would say that's a common thought. Well, I'm here to tell you to stop. Gone are the days of the fast shooting rocket launchers from Borderlands 2. Borderlands 3 killed them. But they can still hit pretty hard, and they do have some pretty cool underbarrel attachments that they can spawn with. So we're going to go ahead and look at every single non-legendary Vladoff heavy weapon part. And we're going to start off by taking a look at the body of the gun. The body is going to be the same on all Vladoff heavy weapons, and here's what it looks like. It'll have three unique accessories that it can spawn with. The first one is going to increase your damage by 10%. The second one here will increase your fire rate by 10%. Here's a better view of this part because it's hidden in the main view. And the third accessory will increase your splash damage radius by 20%. That's it for the body and its accessories, and now we're going to move on to the different barrels that can spawn. Each barrel will give your heavy weapon its base name, and each will have a set of unique accessories that it can spawn with. The barrels are the Gruppa Barrel, the Strack Barrel, the Vred Barrel, and the Alien Barrel Bagronk. We're going to start off with the Gruppa. Now all three non-alien barrels will have the same base damage, but the Gruppa will have the fastest base fire rate of the three. This here is the Gruppa Barrel, and it can spawn with up to three unique accessories. The first one is going to increase your fire rate by 10%. The second one will also increase your fire rate by 10%. And the third one will decrease your reload time by 10%. Next, we have the Strack Barrel. This one will have the second highest fire rate of the non-alien barrels and will have the same base damage as the Gruppa, but the accessories that the Strack can spawn with gives it the highest potential damage. For having the Strack Barrel, your splash damage radius will be set to 143. And like the Gruppa, this thing has three accessories that it can spawn with. The first will increase your damage by 10%. The second one here will do the exact same thing. And the third one will increase your projectile speed by 30%. Then we come to the Vred Barrel. The Vred will have the lowest fire rate of the non-alien barrels, but has the highest potential splash damage radius with its accessories. Here's the Vred Barrel, which will set your splash damage radius to 195. And like the other two barrels before it, this can also spawn with three accessories. The first one will provide a 15% accuracy bonus. The second one will increase your splash damage radius by 20%. And the third one will also provide a 20% splash damage radius increase. The last barrel will be the Alien Barrel Bagronk. This one has a high base damage relative to the other barrels, but a low fire rate, and it feels more like a sniper rifle than it does a launcher, firing a thin projectile instead of a rocket. This is what the Bagronk barrel looks like. It can spawn with one accessory that will increase your elemental effect chance by 15% and increase your magazine size by 10%. Now that the barrels are done, we're going to move on to the grips. There are three of these. The first one will provide a 10% accuracy bonus and increase your damage by 5%. The second one is going to increase your projectile speed by 15% and increase your fire rate by 5%. And the third grip will decrease your reload time by 5%. Not shown here is the fact that this grip will give you an additional projectile per shot. Next, we'll take a look at the three magazines. The mags will dictate your base magazine size, as you might imagine, and will also determine your base reload speed. The first mag here will be the six round magazine and will give you a 10% damage bonus. It will set your base reload speed to four seconds. The second magazine will be the 10 round mag, which won't affect your damage in any way. It will give you a base reload speed of four and a half seconds. And the third magazine will be the 16 round mag. This one will decrease your damage by 10%. Here's another view of this mag as most of it's on the other side of the gun. This one will set your base reload speed to five seconds. Now we'll move on to the three shoulders. The first shoulder will increase your magazine size by two and increase your projectile speed by 15%. The second shoulder will decrease your reload time by 5% and increase your fire rate by 5%. And the third one will increase your splash damage radius by 20% and give you a 20% accuracy bonus. The shoulders are done and we'll move on to the four stocks. The first one will provide a 20% accuracy bonus and increase your damage by 5%. The second stock will increase your magazine size by 2 and increase your fire rate by 5%. The third will increase your projectile speed by 15% and decrease your reload time by 5%. And the fourth stock will increase your splash damage radius by 20% and decrease your recoil height by 30%. Let's move on to the scopes. There are three different versions you can end up with. The first one will increase your zoom by one and a half times. The second will provide a 2.2 times zoom increase. And the third one will increase your zoom by 3.3 times. 
Now let's take a look at the underbarrel attachments. Flat off weapons can spawn with different underbarrel attachments that will act as an alternate firing mode. Flat off heavy weapons will have three different attachments that they can spawn with, aside from the Bagronk, which cannot spawn with one. The first attachment will be the Big Boy Rocket. This attachment will fire one rocket with a large splash damage radius that deals four times your gun's base damage. You'll want to be careful with this one because it's very easy to hit yourself with. Once you shoot it, it will go on cooldown for a few seconds and you'll have to wait before being able to fire it again. The second attachment will be the Mortar. With this, you'll be able to fire a burst of four Mortar shells in the air that will line up and land on a target. Each Mortar will have 75% more damage than your normal rocket shots and will consume one ammo per Mortar. Now this attachment draws ammo from your magazine and will not have a cooldown. The third attachment will be the Rocket Salvo. The rocket salvo will fire micro rockets that will each deal 75% of the damage of a normal rocket shot. It also has a much faster fire rate than your normal firing mode, and fires two rockets for each round. Like the mortar attachment, this one won't have a cooldown and reloading will allow you to continue firing the micro rockets. And just a note with all of these attachments, if you have double projectiles on your heavy weapon, it will not influence the underbarrel attachment like it would for other types of Vladov weapons. So basically, you won't double your attachment's projectiles. Now we come to the elements of the gun. Vladov heavy weapons can spawn in all five available elements. Fire, shock, corrosive, cryo, and radiation. Though most of the time, you probably won't see an element. So if you want to take on the bold task of memorizing all of these parts, here's a table to help you out. If you're feeling more adventurous, there will be a spreadsheet linked below with all of the weapon parts for you to memorize. That's it for Vladoff Heavy Weapons, guys. See ya!